Hello. Hello. Okay, so today we are in Iceland. Uh, we're on a six day journey across the south of the island. Right now we're at a glacier. We're also gonna see some other really cool stuff. So we went to some hot springs, the Black Sand Beach. A lot of stunning, beautiful uh, waterfalls. And also try Icelandic food. Uh, very, very expensive food. Um, so all of that, coming up. Check it out. We're in Iceland. We're in Iceland. We're going to be travelling along the south coast of the island, hitting hot springs, the capital of Reykjavik, before continuing to the Golden Circle, the epic landscapes of Vik, and finally the diamond beaches of Iceland's largest glacier. Oh, and a volcano also erupts. We're heading to Blue Lagoon. Our first stop. This is Lava Road. What do you mean fresh lava? Like how old? So, I don't know, but it must be quite... Look, that, that road is completely gone down there. <gasps> Wow! So it must be the recent one. It's, it's still hot though, you can see it's hot. There's um, like a heat shimmer. We arrived at Blue Lagoon. Uh, we haven't booked ahead, so we're going to see if we can get in. I really like Blue Lagoon. It was very chill. Uh, also, it's got this very high silica content, so your skin's very smooth after. I quite like the volcano to go on for uh, while we're in Iceland. That'll be fun. Spoiler alert! Actually, we saw volcano at the end of the trip. Yeah, catch me the end of the video to see how it went. Silica mask. So is this meant to hydrate or is this meant to like cleanse? Hydrate. I have many years doing it. I'm very social here, they're sort of telling each other their life stories. 10 minutes. After 10 minutes we need to cleanse this. And we'll see if they're still here. Oh, it melts. <laughs> Is it a Yeah. Oh, it tastes like a bit sandy. Oh, yeah, it's going in my eye. Oh. It's like sand in my eye. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm not sure. After a very relaxing first afternoon, we headed up to Reykjavik. We just had dinner and came out. <laughs> hot dog. The best hot dog in the world. Look at it. Mm. £4.26. Mm. That's quite cheap for Iceland. Yeah. Probably that's why it's famous. We're going to go to the bakery and buy some breakfast now. Apparently this is one of the best bakeries in Iceland. Let's see. For info, we got the top loaf on the shelf. It was great. Over breakfast, we just booked a snorkeling tour in Silfra mm. region. Uh, apparently, it's really a famous diving point in the world. Mm -hmm. And we just uh, spontaneously uh, booked this tour. Are you excited? Excited. Don't judge the way I'm in this bread. Hello. We are heading toward Golden Circle. The Golden Circle is the area that has Thingvellir National Park, uh, Golfos and Geysi. Um, and it's apparently the most popular destination for uh, travellers in Iceland. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful, look at this. And the air is so fresh, it's very crisp air. So this, I think, used to be where the parliament was held. So this was the, the oldest parliament known in history. They would all come here for two weeks and they would stay in these temporary accommodation called booths. And apparently you can see like the old little shelters, the remnants of them. After a little wander around, we then headed over the river for our snorkeling tour. We need some help. 
to get it filling on. They're ready. <laughs> it's it's really good with him. Huh? It's really tight on here. Yeah. Thank you. We just did snorkeling from Silfra. Mm, it was really fun. The, the water is so blue and there's these massive deep chasms that you can look down. Yeah, it was really clean. The water color was like crystal blue. Mm. It's really weird because above ground, it looks very, very boring and a bit brown. <laughs> and then you go underwater and there's this whole other world. Yeah. Um, I wish, it was a bit like Finding Nemo, but I wish Nemo had been there because <laughs> there wasn't much action going on under the water. It was all very still. Also, your suit didn't fit properly, so so your your fins fell off your feet. Look at this gorgeous landscape. We then stopped at the Geisha Hot Springs, and basically, because it's so hot underground, the water heats up, and when it gets to a maximum level, it spurts out. We are waiting. You can go. Woo. We just saw three bursts and it was great. I think like seven, five to seven minutes distance. Between them. Between yeah, it them. Takes yeah. like three to five. Yeah, maybe five minutes between each burst and then it erupts. <laughs> it wasn't as massive as I thought. I thought it's gonna be really, really tall. Yeah. And um, it was a bit like boom. Yeah. Next up, Golfos. We are trying to go down lower level to see. We just finished Golden Circle. Um, Gaysi, Gaysi, and yeah. Gufus. That's really cool. So much energy. Yeah. And now we're starving, so we'll, we'll look for. Uh, yes, let's get some good food. It's not too expensive. This is Gaysi. Tomato beer. Mm. <laughs> mm, very healthy style, but it's really tasty actually. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Cool. is actually one of the few waterfalls that you can walk full way around so Gian waited for me behind the waterfall. Very wet, me and Ben. Yeah, really wet. But it was fun. I like it behind the waterfall. Gian the Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> We left Sailor Lamfoss behind and then we went up to the next waterfall, Skogafoss. Skogafoss was awesome, it was so massive and you could walk along the top as well, which was nice. <gasps> it's really blue, the water actually. Do you think it's glacier water? It says so. Oh. So beautiful. Okay. 
And seagull is napping here. Oh, yes. these ones are napping. Seagull apartment. Yeah, <laughs> apartment with a view. Yes, with quite a fancy view. apartment. Yeah. And these Ooh, are. It's a long way. I like how the streams, the river is really flat until last minute, and then it's just boom, boom. disappeared. And down it goes. Should we do a little hike up the path as well? This is the Black Sand Beach and it's cold. you were just saying to me that there's a legend that seals uh, are actually descendants of humans or they are humans in seal skin and sometimes they would come up onto the beach and get rid of their seal skin and then dance like as human. <laughs> I read. As a little. We can reread it. Yeah, okay. Look at that. That's Look cool. Look at that cave. That bit looks a little bit like Dodo Door in Dorset. And Ben want to, wants to go walk, go for a walk to the. I think it's a bit too uh, far. So we're on our way to find a hot spring. Apparently it's a 20 to 25 minute walk down this path. Well, we say that, we're not really sure if it is this path. Maybe it's this path. Uh, it's been snowing a little bit overnight, so it's a bit colder than it was yesterday, but we parked our car yeah, down think, over there over the hill. But we came. We found it. So from the parking lot, you shouldn't go um, on the mountain, but you should just go keep going on the flat. Yeah, surface. we climbed up the hill and uh, we had to go down the hill quite dangerously. So don't do that. Just follow the river. Yeah, but I think and it's- And you'll find it. Yeah, I think it's quite straightforward if you just know that you shouldn't go to the mountain. Yeah, it's here. Great. And look at the snow mountain, it's so cool. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. It's, cold. it's not that hot, isn't it? Maybe I should have brought you to play my, um, what is it? Bogle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's really yeah. So the water for a pool actually comes in over here. The pool was about maybe 20 degrees. It wasn't super warm, but the hot water intake up here, this is about, I don't know, this feels like 60 degrees, 70 degrees, something like that. It's, it's quite warm. And these are the changing rooms. Uh, we are in Vic and the weather is quite rough now. It's almost snowstorm. Yeah. And we are grabbing a coffee from Micro Roastery. I get it. Sorry, sir. It's like usually. It's called his cat, and she just opens the door in the morning, and then Jeffrey comes out, then he, he comes okay. to the bus, but even then he is free to walk home. You know? So, we are on the way to Yoda's cave. We're definitely using our 4x4 mode. Wow, you can see it's just here. Oh yeah. Wow, it's <laughs> well, so easy to like see. Yeah. Gijaja. Gijaja. I think we should go inside to see all the see Yoda negative looking space. Out, or we'll go inside of Yoda. Yeah. I've always wanted to go inside of Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Good music. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see him. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow, it does that's like so Yoda. cool. <laughs> this is Yoda from outside. Very snowy now. 
So we're going to go see a viewpoint which looks over a lava field, which is apparently where the Apollo 11 mission trained um, ahead of going to the moon. It's like we are in somewhere, like outside of the Next up, Stjorna Foss. Quite heavy snow. Ooh. What is that called? Icicle. Icicle? Yeah. Like popsicle? Yeah. Oh. Yay. a spot to sit down and just appreciate the beautiful boss here. It's a lobster soup. It's a grilled lobster. It tastes a little bit like pumpkin spice latte mm -hmm. <laughs> in, in Starbucks, but their lobster meat is pretty juicy mm. and good, fresh. Mm. Alright, we'll enjoy this and then go to bed. You know, it's really deep. This is like a good five inches of snow. First breakfast in England. Mm -hmm. No hotel. Quite good flex. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Go waffle. So from our accommodation, um, we are heading to the hot tub, which is like two to three minutes away by car. It's car though, no problem. Just plow through the snow. Pretty good. <laughs> Right, so we just drove maybe cross country, but we think it was the road following the sat nav. And now we're gonna we're gonna go check out this hot tub. We are the first people here today, so we need to unlock. Hopefully, just go in. <sighs> But where are the where are the hot tubs? It seems like there's nothing here. Should... Is it inside? No, it's outside. Oh, they're there. They're here. Oh yeah, there you go. Which tub do you want? Okay. Ooh, cool. Yeah, I reckon maybe. I just want to put my clothes on the bench, to be honest. Oh, it's a beautiful view. It's so beautiful. like reindeer habitat because it's nothing mm. but snow. We got the uh, sweet um, potato fries and um, langoustine uh, sandwich. <laughs> Oreo beach. Oreo. <laughs> Diamond. Diamond beach. 
Look at this black sand. It's really fine and black. It's like a Oreo cookie crumble. <gasps> this is a bit like cheesecake. This is a bit like Oreo cheesecake, actually. See, look, there's the Oreo base layer and then the cheesecake on top. Maybe, <laughs> maybe this is more Oreo cheesecake with our car on top. It's called Diamond Beach because uh, the bits of ice come off the glacier, which is just behind that bridge. We'll go look at it in a minute. And then they land on this beach before they head out to sea. So this is Glacier Lagoon here. And then after this bridge, it goes down to the beach. And over there is where Diamond Beach is at. And with that, as the rain came in, we headed back to our accommodation for the night for what we thought would be quite a relaxing evening. The volcano had erupted just where we had been about five days ago, um, next to Blue Lagoon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the call from my mom, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> my mom already said to me. <laughs> so we settled in for our pretty tasty dinner with the view of the rapidly erupting volcano in the background. And we didn't think we had to see it, but actually... It's redder Ooh. now. It's really like prehistoric or something. It's like out of a geography textbook. <sighs> you join us on our second last day in Iceland. It's very windy. <laughs> it's, it's raining a lot. <laughs> but today we are at another waterfall. It's just a local waterfall on the back side of our accommodation last night. So we are driving uh, the lava field. Um, yeah, I didn't think we would be this close, to be honest. Uh, and I think we need the sat now because I think we're going to turn off before the volcano, hopefully. Yes, this is technically the Last night, no, I mean, I think we're still about 50 kilometers away. Yeah, yeah. With Green Dover. Yeah, I think we're in that region. Yeah, the road is closed up just there. Oh, I can see the smoke from the volcano, actually. Oh, the, 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 uh, the white bit is just there. Yeah. Oh, we're a lot closer than I imagined we would be. So we are turning... Oh. You can turn though. Yeah, yeah. I, so I think we're still very far away. They've just clutched shut that road yeah. and we can turn right to get away. I don't want to go through. Are you, are you a bit concerned? Uh, I think we're far enough away. We should be okay. Uh, the Blue Lagoon that we went on the first day, um, they had to evacuate last night because it was too close to the volcano eruption. They closed it in February as well because that big lava field went right by it and I think they're worried that it's going to go by again. So we caught on the news when we got back that actually they had completely evacuated Blue Lagoon. They all were taken out on coaches. Oh yeah, it's really evil looking. <laughs> 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 to me this looks a bit like dirty uh, washing up uh, water, like what you would get out the uh, washing machine from all the dirty water. Very active for me. It looks like it's raining. It's, it's not raining. It's really cool. I love it. It's like it's like the set of a movie or something where they put all these special effects in to make it feel like a witch's sort of coven or something. I really like they've got this sort of um, deck so you can you can go up and see all the potions brewing. For our final night, we headed back to Reykjavik to grab some dinner before going to our hotel near the airport. Came to Messen Seafood Restaurant and we're gonna get the Atlantic wolf fish, Arctic char, and the seafood soup. So this is the wolf fish, and this is uh, Arctic char. Let's dig in. How is it? It's a bit like 
We are driving to a hotel for the last night and you can see the volcano just right there. That's cool. It's a good view. Oh yeah. That's really oh Oh, Ooh. I think you can see that. Oh, you can actually see the magma. <gasps> like, you can whoa. see it. Wow. That's so cool. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good lookout. It's really big. Oh my God. Yes, our last night in Iceland. We were expecting a northern light. Well, instead, we are looking at Volcano eruption. <laughs> see it spewing. Can you see it spewing? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. It's like, ooh. It's yeah, like that's a, what I mean. A fountain by... of magma or lava. Yeah. You really expect to see this kind of thing in like Lord of the Rings. It's really cool. The week went by so fast. What yeah. An adventure. It was a lot, but we had so much fun. There was some really cool stuff that we saw. Hmm. Great adventure. Next time.